It's the first time we've done an art exhibition up here and it consists mainly of volunteers, paintings, photographs and various friends of volunteers. Being the first one, we hope the first perhaps of many. It's been very, very successful with regard to people enjoying looking at pictures. Today has been all about publicising the railway, I think, and the Great Engine House, um, raising money for both ventures. And for me personally, it's been a chance to display and exhibit my paintings, which have never been done before. I started painting when I was a teenager, but I gave up after a few years and went to university instead. And so it's waited until now, when I'm retired, to seriously start painting. Initially by painting uh, paintings by other artists, if you like, us using my own uh, take on other artists um, producing homages, for example, uh, the first of which was L.S. Lowry. And I've moved on to um, De Chirico and uh, Chagall and others since then. Uh, this painting here is um, inspired by an Italian artist called Giorgio De Chirico, but it's very much a painting about the railway and the great engine house. Um, to point out what's going on, we have, for example, the train in the background. This is one of the um, Thames Water buildings still in use, I believe. These, of course, are the chimneys. But what the painting symbolises is shown by these two figures. Um, one dressed in white, who represents, of course, those who work in the Great Engine House, and those who might be dressed in orange, who are the railway volunteers. Uh, they're shaking hands to show the friendship that exists between us. The other figure of interest is here, and it's a cat, uh, because we have on site a cat called Russell, though I've called the cat here Monarch. So the painting as a whole is called um, monarch, as in, in other words, a cat is monarch of all it surveys. Downstairs was kindly provided by Science Projects and its interactive art exhibits where you can have a go at all sorts of things with the easels down there. Uh, for instance, there's one where you can be looking in a mirror and change all the lighting on your face in different ways. They're absolutely fascinating. They're quite educational, but more to the point, they're great fun. It was very kind of science projects to let us have those for the day. We have got the children's area um, around the corner at the end of the static engine, um, which has been very popular with the youngsters. We've got crayons and pens and some colouring for them to do and a board and they pinned some of their artistic treasures up on the board. I think they've really enjoyed it. Perhaps um, we might do this each year. Most of our events happen um, each year. Um, it would be nice to have another art exhibition, perhaps a little bigger.